Are you using GitHub Copilot for your programming? Then to what extent do you use it? Most developers are using Copilot for code suggestions, yet Copilot provides more than code suggestion. Today, I will show you all the gems of Copilot to boost your coding productivity. Without further ado, let's dive into it. We all know Tab for auto-completion. Once we start writing a piece of code, Copilot reads our mind and shows the next code. What you may not be aware is Copilot may have multiple suggestions for your code sometimes. In that case, we can switch between suggestions with keyboard shortcuts. To do so, press Alt plus brackets. If you want to see all the suggestions at once, press Ctrl Enter and the Copilot will open up the suggestions and you can choose the best solutions. Sometimes you don't want to accept all but partial of the suggestion, then you can accept piece by piece with command arrow key. And at any point, you can press escape to stop completion. Copilot offers inline chat so you can stay in your workflow but ask questions to AI. To start inline chat, press command I. You can give your own instructions or use built-in slash commands. Slash commands already cover common use cases such as explain, test, fix, or docs. So for example, you can ask Copilot to explain a certain part of code. Or you can ask write down docs about it. Or you can ask it to write down test. We all know writing tests is important but tedious. You can think of Copilot Chat as ChatGPT embedded into VS Code yet with more powerful functionalities. Unlike inline chat, it's more interactive and tracks the history of conversations so it's suitable for more abstract works like brainstorming decision between different implementations. As a UI tip, if you want to see the file explorer, editor, and chat at the same time, you can move it to the right side by dragging it to the right side. Copilot has three different agents as of now, VS Code, Workspace, and Terminal. The first thing is Workspace. Workspace agent has context about the code in your workspace. This means that agent understand frameworks, libraries used in your project, workspace structure and style and linting rules and etc and it returns the outcome with this context considers thus giving you better answer so let's say you want to implement google sign-in if i ask copilot to write down how to implement google sign-in then it returns vague answer yet if i add as Workspace symbol, now Copilot is aware of my code base that it returns next auth, which I was looking for in Next.js project environment. I didn't change the prompt, but I got significant better outcome. And if you like the suggestion, you can copy directly copying into the current option buffer, or even create a new file and copy the suggestion there. The next one is a VS Code agent. VS Code Agent has knowledge about VS Code Editor, so it can help you customize. For example, you can ask VS Code, how do I change your color? Final one, Terminal Agent. You can ask the editor while you're running your server, or you can ask general shell related questions. For example, you can ask terminal how to use grep to find files. The terminal agent will give you the shell command with explanation and you can insert into terminal with one click. So far, I covered the different agents you can use in Copilot Chat, but there are a few miscellaneous things that will boost your productivity. The first thing is new slash command. This command will scaffold code for a new project. I asked to create a new Flask app, and after waiting a bit, it gives me a full project. And the second thing is help command. This will show all the available commands and its role. 
And lastly, you can switch to different chat sessions and review what you've done so far. I do this weekly and move useful information to Obsidian so that I can keep notes for future. Lastly, you can also use Copilot to write commit messages. Copilot will come up with the best commit messages for you so you won't confuse your teammates anymore. Today, I tried to cover what Copilot offers totally. If this was useful to you, please like and subscribe my channel and let me know if there's anything I can improve in comments. See you in another video.